Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. What did we do last run? It was a Lazarus run. I know we could have randomed, but I actually, I'm actually looking forward to playing as Isaac and using the D6. And then on the next run, we'll probably play as Eden. So let's see what our seed is here. Seven. James has basketballs. Seven James has basketballs. One, Lyndon, Byron, Seven. It doesn't really make any sense. Let's just abandon that before it gets even worse. Okay, I would say a good start, and actually I will take Rodden Baby. Don't mind if I already freaking did. Uh, could have re-rolled it, but thought better of it. We get a 48-hour energy, and then we'll walk out, and then we'll take it. Explosive diarrhea. All right. Rodden Baby, not the best deal with the devil item, but uh, a pretty good deal with the devil item. I'm not going to say inarguably the best baby, but it's up there, you know? Your baby is always the best baby. Whatever baby you have is the baby that you want to have, right? At least that's what my parents told me. I don't know if they're being honest about it, but, um, you know. It's basically like having sort of like a slow-release, time-delayed version of the mulligan, isn't it? You know, we got uh, as many flies coming out per room as we can muster, basically. Let's try to avoid, like, actually getting ourselves killed. I don't know why. I'm, I, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm feeling my Isaac Fu is not really there right now. Let's let's pull this back. Not find ourselves in a terrible position. Let's be honest. I earned that one, didn't I? I re-rolled guillotine because I was like, guillotine sucks. We can do better. And then we ended up getting an item that is probably the worst item in the game, Butterbean. If you think Butterbean is not the worst item in the game, you better have, like, a 500-word essay on my uh, desk by this morning. And if you're leaving like a 500 word comment right now, you should, you should go like, I don't know. Go like, do some push-ups or something like that. It's more constructive, it'll get your energy out there. It's probably a good thing, you know? I'm not trying to suggest that you're not in shape if you're leaving a comment like that. Just like, it, literally anything would be better. Call your mom instead of leaving that comment, you know? She's probably dying to hear from you. And if she, there's someone you can call, let's just put it that way. Talk to a long lost friend on Facebook. Don't waste your time trying to make me happy. I'm doing all right for myself. I'm I'm feeling feeling pretty good on this uh, this beautiful day here. I'm really happy we have Rotten Baby right now because otherwise gurglings would be a pain in the dick. But uh, I mean it's still a little bit of a pain in the dick. But Rotten Baby does make it so that um, the flies just are pretty much heat seeking. I am going to be a little bit of an idiot. You may hate me for this, and it may not work out fantastically. But. Uh, I'm going to take ourselves down to a half heart. Oh, we haven't been up here yet. Let's Before we do that, let's just move on up here and see if maybe we get a key. Because if we can go to our shop, I would love to pick up an item or something like that. But uh, we got a bomb. I'm not sure what we can do with that, honestly. Uh, do we go down here? Have we been this way? Okay, we have been. Have we been to the right here? We have not. Okay, come on. Give me a consumable. A, a spirit heart or a red heart, anything like that. A key would be great as well, so we could use the credit card. But a spirit heart or a red heart is the bare minimum. So what's my thinking? Well, I want to reroll Butterbean, right? So we're going to be super risky. We're going to turn this into a lost run. Have we been this way? Probably a si uh, sacrifice room? No. There's actually a Tinted Rock available here. Let's blow this up. This is a hugely important situation for us. Oh, I shouldn't have picked up that Spirit Heart, but we might have combat. Okay, we do still have combat, so I don't need to go into the secret room. I, I have botched this somewhat miserably. Oh, but now we've lost the Spirit Heart naturally, which you, you wouldn't expect to normally hear me talk about that in a, in a positive voice, but hey, that's it's fine. So we pick this up. Uh, we might as well blow this up looking for, like, a uh, crawl space or a black market. You know, basically for free there. Um, we go back to our item room. Reroll Butterbean. If it sucks, we go back into our curse room, pick up those 48-hour uh, energy batteries that dropped thanks to that pill. Because we have a chance to actually farm up something good here. Lemon Mishap is not good enough, so we're going to leave and come back. We could technically do it twice, but that would leave us at a half heart. I would rather not do that, if given the choice. What we should have done, though, is left the spirit heart on the ground, picked up the red heart instead. Because uh, now I don't have... Oh, bright! Now we don't have a spirit heart that can actually... Uh... What if I could, like, push this? I want to push this close to the door so we can, like, get in and get out with only a half heart next time, maybe. We're going to have to be quick about it, but I think that might do it right there. Um, but hopefully we don't have to. Hopefully we just get what we need here. We'll see, though. Yeah, then we would have had a spirit art for a deal with the devil protection on the next floor, but this is not a, a completely foreign situation to us. Honestly, I think Mom's eye is pretty terrible. I'm going to be straight with you. I wish we just went with the guillotine right off the bat. Guillotine is not necessarily a great item, but it's not necessarily a terrible item either. 
Okay, so we did manage to make that work. I'm very happy about that, even though there are still enemies that can one-shot us. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of my performance there. It's not so much that it did great things for us, but it's that it could have been worse. And we, we used strategy to get something better, and we got Spider Baby. Spider Baby is also not very good, but I'll be honest, if you ask me to pick the best item that we got out of all that, that entire to-do that we just did, I'd probably say Spider Baby. Guillotine, maybe? Spider Baby, maybe? They're, like, they're both kind of like C-plus items, but... It's something. Spider Baby, a lot of people uh, overrate it, and I overrated it for a long time. The reason Spider Baby is just an okay item is because it only gives you spiders when you get hit. Not to be confused with Sissy Long Legs, which gives you uh, spiders on a regular interval. Or, God forbid, Infestation 2, which is actually just amazing. So, I fucking hate these spiders, man. You gotta try to predict where they go, but they're so unpredictable, it's very difficult to dodge what they're throwing out here. So, we're really hoping to get a deal with the devil here. We will probably. I can't say with authority, but I would like to try to use um, our key for the shop. I almost got hit by that. Oh, get out of the way. <laughs> I really wanted to go to that secret room. Come on. I mean, we still can. And we still probably should. Okay, this is a weird one. So we probably should not use um, our credit card to buy blank card. Because I want credit card blank card. What a strange situation to find ourselves in. Will we be able to get to, you know, 15 cents without using the credit card? Shit, dude, I don't know. Actually, you know what? I don't really want credit card blank card because I want to stick with the D6. So maybe we'll just hold on to credit card. Credit card blank card is not that good. It's good, but it's not that good if we already have a, a good spacebar item. I got blinded by the fact that we have not played Isaac that much recently. Uh, Blue Baby's Only Friend is a great item for us uh, early on here. So we'll, we'll maybe use our credit card to buy a consumable from the shop. And I know that sounds super shitty, but we'll see if we need a consumable. Let's put it that way. It's probably not the most efficient usage of it. You can't use credit card on a deal with the devil, unfortunately. We got a great combination here with um, Rotten Baby, which doesn't require us to actually... That's good. It doesn't require us to be near uh, an enemy to get an advantage. Uh, like in terms of doing damage to them. Uh, and Blue Baby's Only Friend, which doesn't require us to be close to an enemy to hit them. I don't even know what Pandora's Box gives you here, but we're gonna try it just because it's silly. It gave us a lot of consumables, and you know what? I'm actually totally fine with that. I am I am A-OK -okay with that. Now, my big hope is that actually we can... Oh, Credit Card does allow you to get everything for free? I had it confused. Very silly of me. Hematomesis, well, we broke even on it. That's all right. Okay, I will take this, and it's it's risky, I'll admit. But I've made my decision, and we're gonna go to our curse room for free now, and two of these. Ah, perfect, that's what I'm looking for. All right, this is not a one run yet, but that's uh, the, the little kind of endeavor that we just had there is gonna go a long way towards making it happen. This has been a run with a lot of weirdness to it already, and I respect that, I like it, um, but it it's strange. Certainly, this is a strange situation. I would like to trade a bomb for a key. And we, we can't reliably get that golden chest out, unfortunately. It's actually a pretty good counter to the haunt to have Blue Baby's only friend. That doesn't mean I won't get hit, but it means I should be able to avoid getting hit, uh, you know, with a little bit more reliability than, than average. And Blue Baby's only friend is good enough damage to, to straight up just carry you through the very, very early game segments. There's more damage out of half of our eyes with Blood Claw there, and we're going to be fighting against uh, Krampus here, almost hoping for Krampus's head so that we get a good opportunity to reroll, but I wouldn't mind a lump of coal either, and that is what we're gonna get. And we'll pick up nine cents, which puts us in a pretty good position for the next floor. Again, it's not a win by any stretch of the imagination, but here we are in a very good position moving forward. Lots of HP, good damage. Technically infinite range. <laughs> and uh, the one thing that does suck is that I, even though we got Rotten Baby, I'm not sure if we have Deal with the Devil precedent. Which is not always essential, but it's always something I strive for in particular. Probably should have taken damage there, but that's alright. And I'm not going to complain about pretty much any consumable at this point. If you want to give me a consumable, I'm happy to have it. What am I looking for from our shop? Item room is a little bit more of a crapshoot. What am I looking for from our shop? I would love to have either BFF or Hive Mind. BFF would make Blue Baby's only friends substantially better, almost to the point where it would probably carry us through the entire run if we if we needed it to 
wouldn't necessarily say wanted to, but if we needed it to. And Hive Mind would help out Rotten Baby. It's, Rotten Baby is never going to carry us unless we're on like a, a run where we can't shoot, like a challenge run, but uh, it's good enough. Good enough to help out a lot. Oh man, left hand. Okay, so left hand. I don't really make uh, much of a secret about this, but left hand is one of my favorite trinkets in the game without... You only get left hand if you kill the last one. Uh, you kill the big one last? I did not know that. It is one of my favorite trinkets in the game, though. Shame we're not going to get it. <laughs> That's okay, though. Mix it up a little bit. I'm sure there were some people out there who were like, Oh, left hand. Northern Lion forgets to drop it. Well, I mean, he doesn't always. I mean, he usually does now, but he three times he forgot. Anyway, I, I apologize for using that voice. It's, it's such a... It's a lazy shortcut to making yourself look right in an argument is what it is. And I have more respect for you than that. And I, I resorted to that. And I, uh, I'm regretful as a result of it. But anyway. Let's go to our uh, shop right away. We can always blow up our donation machine if we need to. I don't, I don't like the stopwatch that much. And to be honest with you, I actually don't want to reroll it. Because we might not get another charge for what's a deal with the devil. So I'm just going to protect my assets here and... Maybe we'll blow up some of this stuff and see if we get something good. I can see forever. Pretty good timing on that one. Balls of steel, also beautiful. Find some more good uh, mushroom patch. What is, is it? A mushroom patch? Mushroom? What do you what do you call a group of mushrooms? Like a cabbage patch? A mushroom? A fung fungal? A fungal of mushrooms? I don't think that really works. So we're just gonna hang the F out right here. And Rotten Baby occasionally is gonna... I gotta make sure to like tap the button occasionally to get the Rotten Baby flies ready to go there. But apart from that, this peep fight is exceptionally easy. Deal with the devil against all odds? No. Little Steven. That's re-rollable. I'd rather have a little bit more HP for, for fuel for deals with the devil than Little Steven. You might be saying that's ridiculous, but what am I gonna do with Little Steven at this point? I'm barely shooting. Because I'm uh, I'm using Blue Baby's only friend. Not to say that it won't be in the future, but Little Steven's not going to be as useful for us uh, if we're not really getting, you know, the maximum kind of damage output out of it that we that we could. So HP is going to be useful for us immediately, maybe. Sad Onion. It makes me a little bit more tempted to actually use our tears because our rate of fire is going to be a lot better. But truth be told, it actually doesn't seem that good. Let's go to our curse room because we can. We got bombs if we need them. 48 hour energy. Oh, that is actually pretty sweet. So there's balls of steel, 48 hour energy. Question mark, are you a wizard? Eh, good time to get it. Might as well pop like one of them right now and then walk out with the other one. Now we probably do want to use, uh, we want to go to our shop and, and see if we can get enough. Like see if we can get a good reroll off of it. Because again, if we can get Hive Mind or BFF, it puts us in an amazing position. And I'm not sweating too much the, the possibility or lack thereof of us, uh, being able to get, probably could have gotten more with that, but that's okay. The possibility or lack thereof of us getting boss rush, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much, at least. Reroll, blank card. No, thank you. Reroll, 9 volt. I think 9 volt is good enough. We can say, we can say thank you there. Wow, I did not expect to find ourselves so close to not being able to get an advantage out of that. And we'll uh, take this. It already gives us a reroll, so we can't actually do anything about that, but that's okay. Let's see what we got in here. Maybe we got an item in here somewhere. No, we got another Eternal Heart. That's okay. It's not quite a one run yet because our damage is not there, but everything else is coming up Millhouse right now. Yeah, no bombs, but that's okay. We got pretty much nothing standing in our way of a relatively comfortable victory. I hesitate to say easy, but comfortable. They're not, they're not one and the same. You can have uncomfortable runs that are easy. You know, one HP epic fetus. You can have comfortable runs that are losses. You know, 12 HP, no damage. You're, you're very rarely at risk of dying, but once it happens, you just kind of slip uh, gracefully between worlds, you know? It's like the music video for Lightning Crashes. For now, though, we, uh, we're very excited with our position. Sad Onion doesn't quite make me want to not use Blue Baby's only friend. But it puts me in a position where if we get more damage in the future, I think I can I can pretty much be okay with it. I could do it now if I wanted to. I mean, we got um, Lump of Coal as well, um, which does help out. But we're still waiting for kind of like that amazing deal with the devil that, that sometimes doesn't ever come. <laughs> but 
But if it does, that's okay. All right. We did take a little damage there. I'm not going to say that damage was unavoidable, but I will say it was difficult to avoid it. And we'll just tackle this one the old-fashioned way. Let's see what we've got in our curse room while we're here. Ah, Black Candle. Not re-rolling that. I love not having to deal with curses, and it also pays for us to be in this room. So now we can actually see what the F's going on on our map. I appreciate that. Black Candle, I wouldn't say it's underrated necessarily, but when you talk about uh, the best shop items, it doesn't always come up. And I think it's it's actually my favorite of the candles because it's a passive, and the passive effect is pretty awesome, in my opinion. Now, if I could only choose one item and I had to win the game, you know, you had a gun to my temple and some kind of bizarre, you know, gangland kidnapping, where you, you kidnap me and force me to play the Binding of Isaac for your own amusement, I probably would not be going after the black candle. We'd be going more for a blue candle, red candle stopwatch, something like that. However, I, it's every, every run, you're happy to have a black candle. You're never sad to have black candle. Unless you've got, like, no HP on an Eden run, and that was one of your starting items or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to be shitty about it. What I'm hoping for is uh, some raw damage upgrades. If we could pick up uh, some Death's Touch. If we could pick up some uh, Magic Mushroom. Anything along those lines would go a long way towards making me a much happier camper. What a strange expression, happy camper. Is that how shitty camping is? That it's it's rare to be a happy camper? I gotta admit, I, I don't know what it is about camping. I don't camp. Um, I don't like the outdoors. And that's, we don't, I'm, I love Attack Fly. Um, I'm not gonna reroll that. We don't have a problem, by the way. If you're an outdoorsy person, we there's no bad blood between me and you. Just don't try to take me camping, and I won't try to take you on some shit that you hate, but, you know, try to force people into anyway for some weird reason. Um, but uh, it's not the best advertisement for camping. That I have a uh, happy camper is something that is somewhat exceptional or at least noteworthy on a common basis, you know? You gotta work on your image problems, I think. I'll be inside while you work on your image problems. Playing video games instead. Now, I'm just gonna stay far, far away here. If we wanted to be, like, really ballsy, we could do some multitasking and get, like, the attack fly going at the same time. That was actually a really, really high amount of damage. I'm very pleased with that. It did feel weird on my brain, though. So we'll take Goathead, just to guarantee deals with the devil, and we'll reroll this. We'll get a little brimstone. It's pretty good. We've been to our item room? Yes, we can't. There's nothing else for us to do here except go to the shop. We'll do it. Why not? We're not going to go to our boss rush room anyway. So I think now we've got so many, like, weird ways of doing damage. It's kind of an interesting run in that regard. I think we open with a little brimstone shot, then we pilot a uh, blue baby's only friend into a position where I can actually do some damage. So we open like that, and then we go like this. And that's going to be a nice kind of opening salvo for us. We definitely, uh, if we can, we have to get Humbling Bundle. I would love to get both, uh, Starter Deck and Humbling Bundle, but I doubt it will be conceivable. We're going to be pretty lucky just to get Humbling Bundle, honestly. And actually, you know what? Now that we get Humbling Bundle, we might be able to get Starter Deck. But our donation machine is going to hate us. But starter deck is awesome. It's really good. Come on. We only got one bomb after this. I need a big payout. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Two, two pennies. Like, double the two pennies. But yeah, there we go. Barely made it happen, but we do get a tarot card as a result. And it's the fool. Which could allow us to do boss rush if we had time, which we probably don't. But anyway. It's all good as far as I'm concerned. It sucks because we did have 48 hour energy pills in our rotation, but I'll still take starter deck. Nine times out of ten. Not just because it lets you hold two cards, but because it gives you, I think, functionally a much higher percentage chance of getting runes, and runes are the money makers once you get down to the chest. Those are a big deal. Alright, Necropolis one. Open with little Next time. We'll talk about this next time. <laughs> Open with little brimstone. Boom! Nice complete lack of hitting anything. Then you get um you get that into a position. That was not a very good room for us. Let's just be honest about that one right off the bat. We got enough keys to do this, though. And that is a reroll everything more run. It will even reroll our reroll. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. And now I've told you what I'm going to do. But uh, I'm going to go to the curse room first just in case we get a guppy item because those do not get rerolled. There you go. All right, please don't reroll my run into something shitty. Okay, we got Lord of the Flies. Very low rate of fire. Big fan. Lots of spiders. I guess that's from Sissy Longlegs. So we can fly. Sacrificial dagger. I'm not really sure what's going on with our, our damage. It doesn't seem very good. Let's take some shots, though. I don't know if that was 
like my damage. It looks like we have a BBF as well. I like that item a lot. Nothing wrong with that one. Sad Bombs. Sad Bombs is pretty sweet. We won't have a starter deck anymore. We got Daddy Long Legs. I mean, I think this runs great. <laughs> it's just weird. We got two of the best orbitals for sure. Maybe the two best orbitals, actually. Not two of the best. The two best. And this should still be a win. I'm actually... I'm always hesitant to reroll great runs. Like, we had Goathead. A win... Like, we had a Goathead and HP, and it, our run as it existed was already good. So our potential was through the roof, but, like, our existing run was also amazing. But uh, th this one, it still looks very, very winnable. There's no question about that. And I love BBF plus Sad Bombs. I love Daddy Long Legs. I love Big Fan. Love Sacrificial Dagger. Free ability to fly. Never hurt anybody. I don't know what we got going on there. Do we have, like, $3 bill or something? HP, but no deal with the devil. That's a little salt inducing, but that's okay. All right, I'll play you. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about a lack of HP, or I'm not gonna complain about um, getting more HP at this point, even if that is what you give us. Now, what's our life? That's the interesting thing. Is it Judas's shadow? Is it the Yonk? Or is it Lazarus's rags? Or is it you know nine lives with eight of the lives taken away? Probably unlikely, huh? Come on, dude. You you pretty much milked me. Like, you took out 15 cents anyway, and I don't even have nipples, Greg. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. Well, I'll maybe be able to blow both of you up in the same uh, situation here. All right. Go fuck yourselves. Go fuck yourself, Brit. All right. The Fool, the Empress. We'll take the Empress card with us, because we ain't getting to no boss rush room with only 70 seconds left. I will tell you that much with authority. Apparently, you can get all these with two bombs if you internalize or conceptualize the problem a different way. Instead, I'm gonna use four bombs, because fuck everything. But at least we got a spirit heart out of it. Kinda hoping to fight greed here. BFF, we have to get BFF. I'm very sorry about this donation machine. Um, we've been we've been quite cruel to our donation machine, but BFF is awesome for us with all the kind of familiars we got going on in our situation here. And it's just enough. And there we go, now they're really starting to pop. So what do we need? We specifically need something that's good for us and not necessarily good for our familiars. For once. I'm very happy to have these, you know, big fan. This this March. Big fan just got bigger. No, but seriously. Um Anything that made our own damage better would be fantastic. I don't know why I thought I would make it out of that one that time, but I did. And I'm glad I took the risk. All right, so we do still need to be a little bit more cautious than I am being. I'm being a little aggressive. Uh, fate, at this point, free HP. Who's going to say no to that? Some asshole. I'm actually content to let my familiars do, like, all the damage. Like, I'm just not even going to shoot, I think. Just get close-ish. Let Big Fan and Sacrificial Dagger take care of it. And we'll wait to shoot. This is a run that's, like, basically tearless. Now, don't walk into that thing by accident, I'll tell you that much. You're going to find yourself in an unhappy situation. Thank you, Daddy Longlegs. Probably go get those bombs, because there's no reason not to. I don't, yeah, I don't even want to touch these guys, because Daddy Longlegs, when it drops down, is kicking the crap out of them. Like, we don't even have to deal with any of the riffraff. We also have, uh, I didn't mention it, but you, you probably noticed, we have butt bombs. So, we're, um, we're doing damage every time BBF explodes. Not only with Sad Bombs, not only with BBF, which has BFF. I don't really like this that much. Without a D6, we can't reroll the Bible, so I don't think it's worth it necessarily. But, um... But also, we're doing damage to everything on the room, which is just, you know, the icing on the cake, basically. This has to be our secret room. I would be amazed if it were not. Okay, well, it'd color me amazed right now. I don't know, it's, it's, it's weird. It's not a spectacular reroll on a run. Like, we didn't re-roll into something truly incredible. But we re-rolled into a run that is, like, thematically exactly the same as what we started with. Oh, careful. Careful. Thematically, very similar. Maybe not exactly the same. Um, in that we're not doing the damage. We have things around us that are doing the damage for us. And I would love to... I would love to rectify this, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be possible. I, every once in a while, you just gotta throw away some keys to the key god. If you sacrifice one key, that means you're gonna get more keys in the future. It's just science. Let's head down to the next floor. And again, very slow run, but that's okay, because I have a feeling we're gonna get Death's Touch and or Brimstone 
on our next deal with the devil. And I have a feeling our next floor, this one right here, is going to give us that deal with the devil that I so desire. Thank you. Oh, sad bombs. You really got it done. Man, Curse of Darkness plus uh, butt bombs makes it pretty difficult to see what's happening, huh? Sacrificial dagger doing good work. We probably want mom's pearl. We probably don't want anything there. I guess I've just given up at all on looking for tinted rocks. I mean, it's a strategy that's worked out very well for me, sadly. Because it's lazy, and uh, it's another example of do as I say, not as I do, I guess. People always get bent out of shape about that. You know, my mom says, you know, don't do drugs, but she smokes meth. Yo, you think your mom is, like, happy that she smokes meth? She just wants better for you than she got for herself. She's not trying to say she's a better person than you. She's trying to say you should not smoke meth, which is probably true. I hope I'm not ruffling too many feathers there. You know, she fuck her for wanting something that's better for you than she got for herself in this life, you know? Jeez. But I've been there. You know, I've been a teenager. I think your parents hold you to unreasonable standards, but hey, man, that's because you're their you're their baby. You're their child, and I know that creates some tension, but it's just because they love you, man. Take it from someone who's slightly younger than your parents, probably. Statistically, almost certainly. Um, they just love you, man, and or lady, and that's that's where that tension comes from. You know, you know, they bring you like a a sandwich or something like that, and then they bring you a napkin, and you're like, oh. Why are they bothering me? I didn't need a nap. It's just because they love you. Just just say thanks for the napkin, Mom. And maybe even throw in, Mom, I love you at the end. She'll be like, oh, that's very sweet. Fuck you, son! I already know you love me. You don't need to tell me that shit. Anyway. 23-24. That's, uh, that's how you can't... Can't? That's how you count. How you can't is... um. The equivocation principle. I don't know anything about Immanuel Kant. I'll just be honest with you. Apparently, I don't even know how to pronounce his name based on the genesis of that joke. But anyway. Boom. Yera Rune. We all knew it was going to happen. Never a doubt in my mind. I'm very excited that we got Champion's Belt. In case I did not mention it. Champion's Belt. Extra damage. We're still not really using our tears for anything at all. But if that day ever comes. Yeah. Yeah. Bottle of pills. Well, I mean, we might as well take it, right? Balls o steel is very good. Just stay here. Don't touch anything. I might as well use balls of steel right now, I guess. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pay out. Pay out. My baby gets paid in pain. He works from nine to five and then he never drops anything for me. So I'll be waiting for him. There we go. Contract from below is amazing. It makes up for our um, lack of uh, humbling bundle. And we got our Yara rune. I'm not very worried about our HP at all to be honest with you. So I think I'm just going to ignore these other rooms and go directly to our boss fight. Cancer trinket, big pickup. Our eyes are looking pretty funky right now. I like it. Uh, yeah, there's a tinted rock I barely noticed. Can't take it. All right, good point. That's some crazy damage from not even using tears. Like, this is ridiculous. Oh, you hit me. You got me. Big deal. No deal with the devil? That is absurd. Let's head down to the next floor. We are at risk of death. But I still think it's a one run. This Yara rune seals it as long as we can just get there. Um, Curse of the Unknown. Very scary from an HP perspective. I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, did we gain HP there? I think we actually gained half of a heart, which is bad for us. Because it takes us out of um, permanent Polaroid invincibility territory. What about these two? Lovers? Chariot. Well, we'll you know, pop into this room, drop the chariot card, and we'll... Pop back into this room, grab the cherry card. I normally don't like doing this bullshit kind of like min-max stuff. Because I'm lazy. I, you know, I'll just be honest with you. I'm lazy about it. But um, I, I have to do it now. To make sure we find ourselves in the best possible position. There is a tinted rock there. I don't want to lose this run. I don't want to lose any run, really. But uh, I definitely don't want to lose this run. And we're really, <laughs> sincerely... I know I've been saying this a lot. We're only one deal with the devil away. From being able to use our tears more effectively. We might be able to win without using our tears effectively at all, but we're straight up only uh, one deal with the devil item away from being able to be kind of a powerhouse here. 
We're not quite there yet, though. But, I mean, you can see, even though we're not doing very much damage with our tiers specifically, this run is still very good. And Explosive Diarrhea, I think, is an awesome pickup for us. Uh, because those will all be sand bombs, I think. I think they'll all be sand bombs. Dude, that was amazing. Yeah. Uh, other bomb synergies I would welcome as well. Like, that that might be enough to carry us, because BBF plus BFF is doing some sweet stuff right now. Along with the sad bombs combo, of course. But, uh, yeah, I'd, I would very much like to, uh, you know, be able to be confident in my own damage. If that makes sense. Uh, I didn't mean to walk into that. And it, pay, it paid out with an IV bag so quickly. I don't know if I like that. Uh, we don't want umbilical cord. Full health, full health. Speed down! But who's buying? Speed down. But who's buying? Anyway. That was a Mega Death reference. I don't really listen to much Mega Death, but I have to give Mega Death a lot of respect because, uh, first off, Hangar 18 is one of the dopest tracks in Guitar Hero 2. But then, beyond that, um, Mega Death has my favorite album cover ever. It's an album called um, A Rude Awakening, and it's the most literal album cover of all time. The dude is in. A bed, and he's falling off of like a building, and he's waking up, and he's like, "Shit!" And you're like, "You know what? That's a fucking that's a rude awakening right there." Whoever did the cover art for that, it's like they just gave him the title and said, "Draw, draw whatever it seems like to you." And he went, oh, "It's a rude awakening right here." I really like it. <laughs> like, like unironically, I'm like, "That's it's a funny title." There's a funny uh, setup. Please explode, please, yeah! I knew as soon as they went off there, it was gonna be, like, all the, uh... Silkworm's dead. By the way, I didn't mention it, but... It's fucking stupid that we got Sister Maggie. That's a bad item for bad people. Shots fired? I don't care. Ooh, I, mean, I like Sister Maggie, but I, I do charity work all the time. Shove it up straight up your asshole. I really don't give a shit, Sister Maggie. If you use Sister Maggie by definition, you're a shithead. Fuck you. I'm just joking. I can't stick with it. I wish I could stick with the joke, but... It's too uncomfortable for my Canadian nature. Canadian nature also is the uh, name of my TV show about bears. Devil or a boss fight? Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. I mean, it's going well, man. I can't really complain. What the heck happened there? Not a good start for me. Take out the Zambro, please. And I guess we're just going to shove some bombs in here because. Like, the bombs are going to counter Mom pretty easily. BBF will finish the job here if I don't. Oh, oh, it didn't do it. It didn't quite do it. There we go. Are we going to win this? I don't know, man. It's getting increasingly dangerous. What happened to my Yarrow rune, guys? I forgot the Yarrow rune. Oh, the dislikes are piling up. I can feel it already. Ruka. Ruka doesn't care that I forgot the Yarrow rune. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's fucked up. I know. Big mistake on my part. I apologize for it. There's nothing much I can do about it. I I, I brace myself for the the dislikes, and I I respect that. That's the kind of thing that bothers a lot of people. I didn't do it on purpose. Uh, just uh, again, not very detail oriented, and uh, it's a conundrum. I hope you're enjoying the episode nonetheless. I know it ruined uh, the episode for those of you who implausibly still watch this to get a high level min max Isaac gameplay. Like you know, there's other people out there that. Probably more well suited for your needs. There we go. If you don't think about it, we got another Yarrow rune right there anyway, right? I know it's the Algiz rune. Well, the Algiz rune is is amazing. In some situations, the best rune in the game, not the most fun rune in the game. In fact, you could probably make a case that Algiz is the most boring rune in the game, but it's the most boring rune that pretty much guarantees us a win. I might just pop it against Isaac though, you know, just to guarantee that we've we've used it appropriately. Oh, well, we found a tinted rock by accident there. That's okay as well. Daddy long legs. Duty long logs. DDL. Daddy dong logs. Please. Thank you. Oh, we found another tinted rock there. I'm an extremely lucky individual right now. Don't do that. Oh, I thought I killed that other Loki. I'm kind of like... <laughs> I'm just killing time until we get to the chest. Not because I'm mad or anything like that, but I'm just like... We, we don't do very much damage. Like, Sacrificial Dagger is carrying the shit out of us here. And I'm losing a lot of HP by using Sacrificial Dagger, like, pretty much exclusively as our damage dealer. But fuck, man. I don't have any other options here. I mean, I do have other options, but I'm lazy. 
<laughs> when I say I don't have other options, you, sh you should recognize that I have many other options, but they don't seem like viable options in the face of my own overwhelming laziness. There's no need to really use that on this room, but we might as well. Because we want to make sure we're carrying this with us. And we... I don't really want explosive diarrhea. I mean, explosive diarrhea is okay for us, but the Algiz rune is, uh, is basically a guaranteed win. I wish Daddy Longlegs wouldn't target the enemy that I'm going for, but that's that's kind of my own fault, isn't it? Daddy Longlegs just goes for this, the target closest to its origin, which I guess is, you know, 0-0 zero, zero in the center there. And uh, I go for that target as well, because it's closest to my origin. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't have all day. Literally do, but I don't, you know, again, the laziness factor. The laziness factor. Tonight on CNN. Not a secret room. Figured I'd give it a shot. There we go. Fanny pack. Fanny pack's all right in my eyes. Let's see if we can get this done. Oh, I love having all of the orbitals working in conjunction with one another. Here we go. I don't know if you're going to get a chance to even rotate one more time. That was super easy. Down to the next floor, we could take explosive diarrhea with us. I really wish that I brought that Yara rune. You know, no, that, that's why I accept that this episode is going to annoy some people because it annoys me too. I wish I had twice as many chests that I couldn't see the answer or couldn't actually see what they were. Inner eye is pretty good. Best friend is not. The poop is not, and little Chad is not really. So I'm perhaps justifiably disappointed with the way that turned out. But you know, triple shot is a pretty good offensive pickup. Although I must admit that without any other damage dealing potential is not really that big of a deal for us, but so be it. Here we are. I'm gonna throw some sad bombs in here. That's gonna make my life substantially easier. Daddy Long Legs will uh, maybe not one shot monstros, but it's gonna be doing some good work. Nope, don't do that. Getting a little too aggressive there. Thank you, Fanny Pack, for allowing me to pick up some extra HP in spite of my idiocy. We at least have like a, a high luck stat so we can get more chests, health up. Hey, I'll take it. I mean, again, this should be a one run. I still have that extra life that I don't even, you know, understand. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, I'll just blow myself up with a sad bomb just to, just for shits and giggles, just to get a payout from Fanny Pack, you know. I can't say that I've had the best time with this run, uh, but it's been an interesting time for sure. This is not your daddy's, uh, you know, average rebirth run. This is a, a strange one, and I respect it for that, and and sort of hated for that. But it's been it's been wild. Our eyes are freaking me out here. Okay, hit him. Nice. That was BBF BFF sad bombs is a killer combo. It's really I wouldn't say it's necessarily saving the day, but it's helping out a great deal. The one thing I will say is that I'm I'm going like full laziness on this run, and I'll be the first one to admit it. There's no reason for me to not attack while I'm using Sacrificial Dagger. Except to, like, divert more brain resources to, the, like, dodging. But I'm not doing it. I guess, like, you could argue that with knockback it might be a little tricky as well. But let's let's try to do that and it might uh, even swing the playing field a little bit more in our favor here. So you shouldn't stand directly in front of him because the, the horse is going to be there. Careful. I'm, I'm assuming that... At some point, he will cross paths with BBF. He didn't, and that's okay. That's why it's an assumption. Assumptions can be wrong. I thought you were dead. Two more bombs. Okay, we're at a half-heart interval again, which is good. What do you got? That was very easy. If you don't shoot at them... Wow. If you don't shoot at them, sometimes they don't aggro, and that makes your life extremely easy. Speed down. Not gonna take it. And it's going to be a hard sell. Except it does allow me to sing, you know, speed down, but who's buying? Again, and I, uh, you know, can't pass up that opportunity. Alright, go hard as fuck on the cage, because I hate this guy. And just immediately take damage, and don't, don't sweat it. It's going to happen from time to time. I really thought your trajectory would be slightly different, but it wasn't. That should finish the job, though. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Okay. We already knew this, though. Big floor. Not a surprise, I guess. You know, it is the chest. 
Should be the hardest floor. Should be the largest floor. Did I say I'm the slickest there is? God, I hate Daddy Long Legs. Now I'm actually, like, I'm a little concerned, and I'm hoping that our, um... Sorry, what? Oh, punching bag, right. I'm hoping that our, um, our life ends up being a good one, you know? I'm hoping that it ends up being... I, mean, I know we have another half red heart, but it's not a full red heart, so we might as well just go for it. I I'm hoping that it ends up being, like, um... I don't know, even, like, Lazarus's rags, so that we respawn inside of the fight, but let's just... For now, avoid taking damage as much as we can. And then it should be fine. Daddy Long Legs will consistently do damage. You know, if BBF ever hits the center, which we can influence with our own bombs, um, then that'll be huge. Getting a little dangerous here. Is it, I like this drama, though. It's, we don't normally have Isaac runs or Rebirth runs that end in this level of drama, so I appreciate it. We're almost done. We're done? Oh, we have the soul? I had <laughs> that whole time, I had no idea that we had the soul. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. It was a bit of a weird one. I'll play Eden next. I hope you enjoyed it again. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.